Hi guys, Grandad's Postbag time. I want to open this because I actually want to use it, so I won't be waiting for any more to turn up at the moment. I know exactly what it is, but I won't spoil it. We'll open it slowly. It's a cardboard box. <laughs> and I'm deliberately wasting time. Sorry about that. Okay, so what's in the bag? Oh, Chinese. Channels, Ch three channels. Model type, car boat, RF range, 2.40055 to 2.475 gigahertz, bandwidth 500 kilohertz, band 140, RF power less than 20 dBm, 2.4 G system, AFHDS, code type GFSK, Sendivity, Senditivity, <laughs> 1024, low voltage warning, yes, less than 3.7 volts, DSC port, yes, mini USB, output PPM, ST range, 90, TH range, 45, F30, B15, Charger port, yes, USB. Power, 3.7 volts, 800 milliamp hours. Weight, 270 grams. Antenna length, 40 millimeters. Size, 156 by 223 by 94 millimeters. Certificate, CE, FCC. And all the same in Chinese. That cracking noise you can hear in the background is my wife's lighting our fire in the front room because it's getting cold. Okay, so I've probably teased you enough. It's another Fly Sky pistol grip transmitter. FSGT2B. I've got one already, which I picked up in a charity shop cheap because it was missing the battery. And the other day when I was out with the radio controlled cars with both grandsons. I realised I could have really done with two of these because we were racing cars and my grandson wasn't getting on very well with the old style or the other style twin stick. Whereas if he'd have had one of these, it'd have been much better off. So I decided to buy another one. It's only about £20. Um, Bought it on eBay, bought, bought the cheapest one I could see. I'll say about 20. Oh, yeah, there might have been some that were just a tiny bit cheaper, 19 pounds something. So there we are, Fly Sky. So exactly the same as I've got already, except that one that I got already, as I said, it was missing the battery, so I did actually modify it. So I could put my ordinary LiPo batteries in there. I'll just put a connector lead on it so I could plug it straight in. But this one's got the proper battery. We've also got another receiver. I keep buying these on eBay. I've got quite a few of them now. At one time, somebody was doing an auction on them, starting at £1.99 and nobody bid on them apart from me so I got them for £1.99 or was it even 99 pence it was something silly it was less money than I could pay just to post something somewhere and I think I got two or three of them from individual auctions anyway so there we go that was what was in the box another one of them in here we've got the USB lead and the little rubber bit for the handle and is that micro USB plugs in just there so you can charge it up like that that's the one I've got already as you can see same thing FSGT2B 
Only this one, I run it on a little LiPo battery, which happens to be the same battery that goes in my SEMA quadcopter. Oh, I've also got a, because there's a bit of space in there, I've got a spare binding lead in there, just in case I need to change transmitter. But that one still charges exactly the same way. So we now have two. So I think, all right. One on there. And two on there. So I know which one's which. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.